Civco Medical is pleased to present Dosimetry Check, an IMRT, and IMAT QA program. To start the program, the user simply clicks on the Dosimetry Check icon. This will bring up Dosimetry Check tasks. From here, you can launch DICOM RT, which allows you to import the treatment plan into Dosimetry Check, or RTOG to import the treatment plan into Dosimetry Check, and then Variant EPID which means that you can deliver the treatment to the portal imager and from the portal imager that fluence map will be integrated into dosimetry checks 3d pencil beam algorithm for a measurement device we can use the variant epid the electa epid the siemens epid map check ptw or matrix as measurement devices and then imap this would be used for vmat from electa or rapid arc from variant to do the analysis, the user runs the dosimetry check program. I accept the terms. I'll now bring the screen up full screen. And I simply follow the green menu. Hit select. Choose a particular patient that we're going to do the analysis on. Click OK. Choose a plan. You can have more than one plan, just like a treatment planning system. Retrieve the plan. Now the system has pulled in all of the fluence maps. This happens to be a rapid arc case, two arcs. This is arc one, where we have 72 images. And this would be arc two, where we have 69 images. Each one of these fluence maps was captured using continuous mode in portal vision. As the gantry rotates around delivering the treatment, the portal imager is capturing images approximately every four degrees. The user has some control over how many images he or she wants to capture. As you can see, this is essentially a movie loop. Each one of these fluence maps is run through a deconvolution kernel. The deconvolution kernel is created specifically for the portal imager, and it removes the scatter component caused by the housing surrounding the electronics. The system now has true in-air fluence, each one of these images represents a beam. The beams are then integrated into dosimetry checks 3D pencil beam algorithm and that 3D pencil beam algorithm has pulled in the treat is using the treatment plan parameters, the plan parameters, the structures file, the CTs and the 3D dose file to do comparisons of treatment plan analysis versus measured analysis. So the first thing we do is go to display, come down and make a screen centered on a volume, any volume that was outlined, any structure that was outlined in the treatment planning system, a point. The system can have multiple points. We can import as many points as you want or you can add points in dosimetry check or ISO center. It can be a single ISO center or multiple ISO centers. We'll choose this particular ISO center. As you can see, we now have a screen based on a single point. We have planes in the transverse, coronal, and sagittal. And the dose that is measured will be displayed on the CT image. We also have 3D dose. 3D, just like any treatment planning system, will show you a cloud. The next thing I want to do is to go down and to go to hard copy. I choose auto report. Auto report is a pre-canned report. It allows you to look at profiles in the X, Y, and Z axis. It picks up the normalization point. You set your grammar, gamma criteria. Select a point. I'll choose this particular point. Select the percentages of dose that you're interested in looking at. Unlike other systems, dosimetry check has gamma volume histograms. So I may want to look at the body and the PTV for prostate. And then finally, I can choose my dose volume histograms. Again, these DVHs are 3D. So I will choose my PTV, my bladder, my rectum, and perhaps a gut. At this point, the user can simply calculate and print the report. The report is automatically generated as a PDF, which can be added to any patient record. As you can see, I'll bring this up full screen. The report has 
each beam with the associated gantry angle and the amount of dose produced by each beam. So we have 76 and 69 beams at 177 gantry angle, 0 0.55, at 173, 0.13. So it tells me this is arc number one, this is arc number two. My cursor down, you can see it also shows the total dose that was calculated by dosimetry check, the planned dose that was calculated by the treatment planning system, and the percentage difference. So our percentage difference is a negative 1.37. Again, this was calculated using an independent 3D pencil beam algorithm compared to the treatment plan dose, and everything is overlaid on the same patient CT data set. Here we have our profile through the x-axis. The solid line is dosimetry check. The dotted line is the treatment planning system. So unlike arrays, we give you profiles in all three axes. Here is the y, and here is the z. So again, you can see nice conformity. And then more importantly, here's the dose. Here's the dose as it appears on the patient CT data set with all of the avoidance structures outlined. The blue line is the treatment planning system. The purple and magenta air lines are the treat are dosimetry check. Again, magenta is dosimetry check, blue is treatment planning, and tinted is the highest dose value, which is 95%. So you can see we have good conformity on the transverse, on the coronal, as well as the sagittal. So again, blue is treatment planning, purple or magenta is dosimetry check. Now we go to gamma volume analysis. As you can see, I'm looking at blue, which is cold, red is which is hot, system automatically highlights the hot spot on each slice, and here we have set the gamma criteria as 3 millimeters and 5 percent, and the compliance was 99.23 percent. This is on the transverse. Again, this is something you can't get with an array, as you can only look at the coronal plane. The coronal plane we have 99.41% compliance. So again, here's your hot spot, and here are your cold spots. And again, we're showing it as it relates to patient anatomy. The sagittal, you have 99.14% compliance. Again, here's my cold spot, which is on the outside of the target area. Then I have gamma volume histograms. This is telling me that the entire 3D structure of the body is within 99.58%. Here's my hot area, and here are my cold areas. Again, I can look at the PTV as well. PTV is at 99.62% compliance for the entire 3D volume, not just a single plane. And then finally, what makes the most sense to to the clinician is your dose volume histogram. The solid line is dosimetry check. The dotted line is the treatment planning system. You can choose any structures that have been identified in the treatment planning system. and We can do comparisons. And then finally, statistical analysis showing what dosimetry check calculated for minimum dose, maximum dose, and average and what the treatment planning system calculated. This is for the prostate, your bladder, etc. This is a standard report that's automatically generated. This can now be added to the patient record. I will close this out, show some more functionality. If I'm interested in specific dose on a given any given plane in the treatment planning in dosimetry check in the treatment planning system, I simply come down to compare 2D. I, for instance, can type in 170, hit enter tint and show on the given screen. Now it'll calculate it. And here, as you can see, we have dose in 3D and in 2D. To look at 3D, I simply come down, show isodose, type in 170, enter, and then calculate. Calculate in current frame. Now calculate in the screen. This will now perform 
a 3D dose cloud calculation. I will type in 165 to look at that particular dose. As you can see, bring this up full screen, I have a magenta dose cloud. I can make the cloud transparent or solid. And the user now is able to look at dose three-dimensionally as it relates to the 3D structures. I also have the ability to look at dose in any plane. So for instance, if I'm interested in looking at a profile along this particular axis, I will pull up my 1D profile. I can select my current frame. I can translate this. I can rotate it. And I can get a profile on any given angle throughout the patient CT data set. There's a variety of other things that the system can do. You can look at dose on every CT slice in any oblique plane you're interested in. You can look at gamma volume histograms, 2D dose, 3D dose, and again, everything is very simple to use. For a more in-depth presentation, please contact your CIVCO representative, and he or she will be happy to set up an appointment where we can do a WebEx or come in and personally do a on-site presentation. Thank you very much for your interest, and we look forward to working with you.